Hey people, it is Tuesday, September the 26th. The time is 4.26 in the afternoon. It's currently 20 degrees and very windy today. And I am on Dundas Street East, just a couple of blocks east of Young Street and Young Dundas Square, at the corner of Bond Street, in front of Burrito Boys here. And as you may know, Burrito Boys is one of my favorite places to eat in all of Toronto, and this one is very close to where I live, and I've mentioned it many times as being my favorite local restaurant. And I've had nothing but good things to say about Burrito Boys, and I still think they're great. However, I think I may have decided I have a new favorite burrito place. Yes, you heard it here first. Burrito Boys may no longer be number one, at least not to me, and I thought I would take a walk from the Burrito Boys here to my possibly new favorite burrito place, which is in another part of downtown Toronto. It's down in the St. Lawrence Market neighborhood. So let's journey from one burrito place to another, sparking a possible burrito war. At least in my mind, I haven't fully decided yet. Which is my favorite burrito place. So I will leave the name of this rival burrito place up for guesses as I make my way along. Of course, I will eventually reveal it. <laughs> so we'll make our way through the east side of downtown. Currently heading south on Bond Street. And I do take my burritos seriously. Size and price play a big factor, as well as taste, obviously. You can admire some of the lovely old buildings here on Bond Street. Kind of an overlooked little side street here. As I mentioned, it's very windy today. Even before I came out to record the video, I could hear the wind gusting and blowing through my apartment window, and I saw the trees blowing around quite violently at times. So we'll take Shooter Street. Heading east now. The rival burrito place in question is on Lower Sherborne Street, so it'll give you an idea of where we're going to end up. Church and Shooter.
Here's a look back towards the financial district. Well, we're going to be heading further away in the heart of downtown as we make our way to Burrito Place Number Two. Maybe somebody watching already has an idea of what the second burrito place might be, given the hints I've dropped so far. I'm wondering, should I take Dalhousie, or maybe I'll just continue on Shooter for now? There are a few different ways I can get there. Check out the progress of the Garden District condos over here. They restored, well, first they demolished some old historic townhomes along Shooter Street, but then they reconstructed them to become the new podium of the Garden District condo tower. And I think they're almost ready to be unveiled. You can see. Them working behind the tarp there. I think they faithfully reconstructed them to look just about the same as they did before. These were lovely old historic 19th century townhomes. And they were quite sort of run down originally. Of course, they don't exist in their entirety now, it's mostly just the facades. But yeah, I think it's not going to be much longer before that tarp comes down. And you can kind of see in that rendering there on the hoarding around the building what they will eventually look like. One of them was also the site of a major fire before construction began that resulted in a firefighter being seriously injured. crossing Jarvis Street. This is a new hotel that is nearing completion. I think it will be a Hyatt Hotel. We'll cut through this walking path alongside Moss Park.
I'm gonna look at some of the progress here. The future Moss Park subway station as part of the Ontario line. The park itself is not too busy right now. It never really is, to be honest. Queen Street and George continuing south from here. The Queen Street car doesn't run along here anymore as part of the construction of the Ontario line is making this part of Queen Street no longer accessible to streetcars. Getting closer. I think we're around halfway, midway between the two forces of burrito tastiness. I'm pulled in two directions at once from here. There's a film production going on here. like filming is taking place on Britain Street. Although a movie one time did film inside here, the George Street Diner was featured in the movie The F Word with Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, and I missed this light. I should have ran here. While I'm waiting, this is a neat little spot anyway. It has a very good reputation in the area. And I'll just push the button because this is one of those intersections where if you don't push the button, you might be waiting a long time, especially at this time of day. I've stood here for several minutes sometimes, wondering what the holdup was. And right across the street, this other old building has been reduced to all but a couple of facades to make way for another tower development. It 
looks like construction is really starting to ramp up here. I think this tower will be over 40 stories, which will be one of the tallest buildings in the neighborhood. And I'll actually get to watch this one rise from my apartment window. Adelaide. Fortunately here there's no button for me to push. I have to go to the other side perhaps. I don't even see a button on that side either. But it looks like the countdown is almost all the way down so I don't have to wait thankfully because I have had to wait at this intersection also. Approaching King and George. This is the Old Town neighborhood. Glad I'm not walking west right now with the sun being where it is. It's an interesting addition to that old historic building. Crossing into the St. Lawrence neighborhood. Front Street is just right up ahead.
right now. Sherborne is just over there. But I'll go down and around and back up again just to add a little more visual interest to the walk. So I'm not taking the shortest, most direct route now between the two burrito places, but we're very close to it. I can almost smell the burritos. This is one of the many housing cooperatives in and around the St. Lawrence neighborhood. And the Esplanade, is, which is just right up ahead here. This is David Crombie Park. There's another housing cooperative here. David Crombie Park, it's sort of like a long linear park that extends for quite a ways going along the Esplanade. It's named after the former mayor of the city. Sort of like an unofficial dog park here in this section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you can't record me. <laughs> Was it a squirrel dingus, maybe?
I think that woman on the bench I just passed was eating a burrito from the very place that I am very close to now. So we're at Lower Sherborne and the Esplanade. St. Lawrence Pro Hardware. You gotta love these old school sort of hardware stores that are still hanging on, right? But you, if that ever closes, a lot of people in this neighborhood be, would be very disappointed. It's all the usual handy things that everyone needs who lives in any sort of apartment or house in a very walkable urban neighborhood with literally I think over a thousand new residents right across the street in this mammoth new condo called Time and Space I expect they're going to be getting a lot more business once that is fully occupied but it was just a minor diversion to <laughs> take me to my final destination. There we go, Belay's Burrito. This is often rated as the best burrito shop in downtown Toronto. And you know what? I think it may be my new favorite. The hours aren't as good as at Burrito Boys. Burrito Boys is open till very late, like 1, 2, 3 in the morning on some nights, but 9 p.m. on most nights is good enough for me. Closed on Sundays, also not very good. Burrito Boys is obviously open on Sundays. That's a rabba right next door. But yeah, this is it. It has been revealed. Is this my new favorite burrito store 100%? I'm not completely decided yet. But it is here on Lower Sherborne, just south of Front Street. If you're ever in the area, definitely come and try it. You won't be disappointed. The burritos are large and the price is right for the size of burrito that you're getting. So I'm going to head inside and get myself a bean and cheese or the closest equivalent. So I hope you enjoyed the burrito walk from Burrito Boys to Belay's Burrito as I might be switching over. I've been loyal to Burrito Boys for a very long time. This is a big decision. <laughs> so leave a comment below if you enjoyed the walk and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal as well as via my merch store. And there's also a super thanks button right down below. 
you'd like to support the channel that way and you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member and you can find me on Instagram also under K Continuum as we look at the prices and different varieties of burritos here so be sure to keep checking back and thanks to the channel members and of course I will continue to eat burritos.